The board approved a plan to eliminate a long-standing thing, those decals. Um, why did this become a priority? Well, it's really, it's, uh, it's the evolution of technology, right? And it's, uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, is it's now we have readily available um, uh, license plate reading technology that we do to make sure that cars are registered, to make sure that if, uh, uh, if a car for, for any other reason shouldn't be uh, on the street there, uh, or shouldn't be on the road. And so it's, it's, it's a relatively simple step, actually, to just cross-reference the, the license plate with have you paid your county taxes. And the decal is going away, but the tax is not going away. <laughs> so it's just a different, more modern, uh, much more reliable, frankly, um, because it's not dependent on, uh, on whether or not the, uh, a, an enforcement officer happened to notice uh, your decal was in the right place or not. Uh, it's, it's, uh, so it's more reliable. Um, and it's just modernizing where we are. So it's a little bit, I think, the, with a, a, a little bit of sadness that we mark sort of the end of in the era. era. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a long, long-standing tradition, and I'm optimistic that we will find um, other opportunities. There are no shortage of opportunities for, to inject uh, creativity and artistic yeah. uh, interpretations into lots of different things that we do around the county. So I think we're going to... Uh, be all eyes and ears open for looking for new opportunities to sort of transition that trend, that tradition to some other venue. Uh, but the decal um, come, uh, uh, it'll be, what, November 15th next okay. year will be um, a thing of the past. Yeah, July 1, 2019. It'll be the, the end of an era. Yes. So if folks shouldn't jump the gun. They should keep their decals Please on do. the cars Absolutely. for now. Absolutely, they should. And, uh, uh, you know, as you ceremonially discard it, um, <laughs> as Eric mentioned, you know, one of the biggest questions we've gotten is, great, that means I don't have to pay the fee anymore. And and what the no. fee is going to help us do um, is do that enforcement work that Eric mentioned, the, the license plate reader, which does still require some human effort as well as some sure. new technology. And, um, you know, we, we appreciate people's willingness to, to, to pay that fee. And, and actually what it does, and this is a point that our treasurer and our commission of revenue they both make often is um, ensuring that everybody pays keeps everyone's taxes lower, um, their personal property taxes as well as their overall property taxes. Um, it's a fairness issue. Uh, so it, it does uh, require a little bit of a, a pretty modest fee, but we think people really are, are, um, are getting the dividends of that. Um, one of the things that's great in Arlington, and we actually heard from our treasurer about this with regard to property taxes during our recess board meeting this month too, is we have a very low rate of uncollected um, uh, taxes in terms of, again, both personal property as well as property, and that means everyone can pay less than they might otherwise have to. All right. Well, that will bring us to the end of another county board wrap-up. I hope you've enjoyed our chat with the county board members about some of the important decisions that they made at their September meeting. Remember, all of those county board meetings are open to the public. They're also live streamed and archived on our website, which is arlingtonva.us. Just search county board to find them. And if you want to tell us what you think about these issues and more, visit our engagement page at topics.arlingtonva.us engage. I'm Kara O'Donnell, and we'll see you next month right here on County Board Wrap Up.